Hey, baby, hey, sugar, how you mama them? It's your girl, Kiwi. Welcome back to another video. I know I look crazy right now, but that's okay. Y'all know the process. So today, um, we are still doing our Black History Month series, episode seven, I think this is. Yeah, episode seven. And today, we're featuring Omos Cosmetics. Such a beautiful brand. So pretty when it comes to the packaging. So I'm not even about to embarrass myself. I'm not even about to make an attempt. It's that palette. Whatever that name is. This is what she looks like on the inside. Stunning. It's so rich. So pretty. And we're going to do something with it today. <laughs> Something cute. I'm in the mood for a halo eye. You know, we are very limited over here. So I think a halo eye is going to be um, the look that we're going for today. So let's go ahead and get started. So I stumbled across Omos Cosmetics on Instagram. And it was through another YouTuber. I believe it was Southern Sophie, Sophie, Southern Sophie, Sophie, Southern something. I don't know. But either way, it was her bonnet. Hence where this headband also came from. Um, but she had such a pretty, um, it was super cute, the African print bonnet. And I wanted it. And um, I stumbled across Omos Cosmetics that way. And then her line has been, you know, expanding ever since then. And that was like a couple of years ago. Um, so, you know, when she released some um, eyeshadows, I was just like, yep, here for it gonna get it and she also um has like a, a lot of lip glosses and lipsticks and everything so i have a few of her lippy products um she does have some matte lipsticks as well beautiful shade here and these are some of her matte lipsticks cute um packaging really simple very long lasting liquid lipsticks and beautiful glossy um, lip glosses from her line. I will not um, be wearing one, any of those today. I'll probably put on like one of the glosses. So I'll put that on at the end because I'm also shooting another video with a lippy product. So we're gonna say lips for that one. But anywho, let's go ahead and get into this eyeshadow. So per usual, I'm gonna start off with my transition shade and I believe it's called Zobam. Zabam, 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 and it's this nice warm orange tone, more of like a rust colored brown or so. I'm gonna just apply that above the crease. Wonderful color payoff. So pigmented. Ay, ay, ay. So it's coming off more red on the lid, but that's okay. And to blend that shade out, I'm going to go into this lighter orange tone shade. It's called Ada, Ada, ADA. Don't work it out. I'm going to pack that right onto the edge of that first color we laid down. Pack that on first and then go in and blend it out. Y'all know. Y'all know how to do it better than I do. I'm using the same brush to go in um, for our brow color. I'm going to go into this mustard orangish yellow shade. It's called Obi. It's really actually like a pale yellow, pale canary yellow. And I'm going to apply that just right underneath the brow. And then for my outer V and um, inner tear duct, I'm going to go into the shade mm, Otito, which is the um, warm brown that's in the palette. Starting really light. Because like that first shade, it's giving very much red, not necessarily brown. More of a, a deep maroon or maybe a deep wine shade on the eyelid so that's okay that is okay so to deepen up um our outer corners i'm gonna go into the the black shade in the palette og og oji 
add it in a little bit just to deepen it up. Wow, I was not expecting that much pigment. So, this art just took a whole other turn. Wow, that's a black. Now that's a black. Okay, so take it from me. That black took the look into a whole different direction. A lot deeper, um, a lot more pigmented than expected. Because I haven't had a whole lot of good look with black eyeshadows. Let's just keep it a buck. But, you know, leave it to a black-owned brand to come through with the pigment, okay? So, mm, chef's kiss of that black. We will definitely keep that in mind for future looks. So, anywho, we're going to move right along. Because, girl... <laughs> All right, so for the center of the lid, I'm going to go in with Osita. It's a really pretty um, bronze shimmer. Oh, wow. Mm. Y'all don't understand. The camera is like, whoa, is doing it no justice. Oh, that is stunning. I'm gonna go back into Osita, which is that brown that we put out here, just to start blending things in together. Oh, that shimmer is just, oh, that is outrageously pretty. Like I really want, oh, I wish y'all could see it in person. All right, so I'm about to go and do some more things to the face and then come back and finish up the lower lash line and um, everything else that we got left to do. All right, so this is the finished look with everything signed, sealed, and delivered. Um, I love this palette. Such beautiful pigmented shades, like amazing. And just to finish off the look, of course, you know, I went in with the wing and lashes um, and a little bit of mascara. And on the lower lash line, I went into the shade Shy. Chi. Shy. I would say Shy. But it may be Chi. I don't know. Um, either way, it's this brown right here. Went in with that under, um, underneath the lash line. And then for the inner corner shade, I went in with Ocha. That beautiful um, champagne. You know, my my favorite shimmer shade, obviously, for my inner corner, anywhere on my eye. Give me a champagne shimmer, you win. But I love this palette. This palette is absolutely stunning, and I do believe it is still available on her website, almostcosmetics.com. Um, yeah, you need it. You need it in your life. I don't care what you got going on. Get this palette, okay? Support these black-owned businesses. Quality products, quality brand. Hello. Okay, that's it. That's all I have for today, for this video anyway. Yes, you will see this look in a couple videos, okay? We trying to record it bulk, baby. Time to get away from you, girl. I will see y'all in my next one. Happy Black History Month. Keep it crazy. Keep it cool.